Hi, now today I'm going to be showing how to get rid of the battery on the boat. Uh, tried it a few days ago just by trying to peel it off, but it just comes off half a millimetre at a time. So I googled it, looked online, and found these. Now, this is what they call uh, an eraser wheel. were a 3M model, which was from the United States, but they're very expensive. This one, however, I picked up from Amazon, um, only a few pounds, and it's by Powertech, which uh, some of you probably know, uh, quite a well-known name in the UK. They do a lot of power tools. Uh, right, so we'll give it a try and see how it works. So, as you see, it does get them off a lot quicker than picking at it, and it doesn't seem to have damaged the underlying gel coat or paint at all. So, hopefully, uh, a bit of elbow grease, because it does take some, uh, take some keeping hold of, it uh, has a bit of a kick with it, uh, and it has to be used on low revs, otherwise you could damage the paintwork. But, um, so far, so good, we'll see how it goes. switch the video back on and pretend it was a piece of cake. It wasn't. It was, it was hard work. It's a struggle to keep control of the drill. It's pulling against you all the time. I've gone through one battery on the drill and I don't know how much is left on the second battery. So, no tip, make sure your batteries are fully charged before you even start. Um, also, I've gone through over half of the eraser disc. So, probably going to have to get another one before I do the other side. But as you can see, it's come off. It's not damaged the paintwork. Um, so the next stage now is to get rid of the old adhesive. Um, you'll still see the ghosting of the letters because, of course, the paintwork around where the letters were has been affected by weather and sunlight. And the letters themselves have protected the paintwork underneath. So you're going to get that bit of ghosting. Um, you can put the letters over the top of that and hopefully it won't be too noticeable. Or the other alternative is just give it a coat of paint over the top of that. Um, so I'll see how it goes. I'll probably give it a coat of paint first. Uh, okay, so next stage I'll get rid of the adhesive. Ah, well, here we are a couple of days later, having bought a new eraser wheel. Uh, this is still from Powertech, but as you can see, it's a slightly different design. This has got flutes on it now. I'm hoping that this will take the um, lettering off a lot easier, so we'll give it a whirl. Now, I don't know what you think, but that seemed to be a lot quicker. 
so I'll do the rest of it and see how long that takes um, still a bit of adhesive there but that will come off with some goo gone so that should be no problem at all so we'll check back in again in a few minutes as you can see it's done now uh, I think it was slightly quicker than the the smooth wheel uh, but that was hard work you can, you can probably see the sun's come out now and I'm sweating just a little bit and um, still very difficult to control the the electric drill it keeps wanting to pull away um, nightmare visions of it ending up in the canal but still it's done now um, fair bit of glue residue as you can see so we'll now get that off with some goo gone so there we go that's been uh, rubbed down with goo gone that's got all the adhesive off and then I've just given it a quick wipe over with um, alcohol wipes um, the alcohol wipes easy to get hold of virtually anywhere the ones I've used are just ones that they use for um, diabetic injections the uh, pre-injection swabs they're only small but they're big enough for a job like this so next stage now is just give it a quick sand uh, paint it then swing it round and give the other side a quick paint and then a couple of days time I'll be able to put the new uh, names on so we'll leave it there for now <laughs> 